Hello everyone, welcome to NASAC YouTube channel, a channel focusing on learning, sharing, and creating networking security knowledges. I'm Johnny. In this episode, I'm going to share a GitHub project to create your own URL shortening services on Cloudflare network. As you know, there are many popular free URL shortening services available in the internet, such as Bitly, Shaw.io, and these tiny URL services. All of them provide free URL shortening service to public with certain limitations which are only available to paid users. One thing I found it missed behind those shortening services is security risk relating to it. As I show from this web page on a sense, on a trend micro blog, and on a PC magazines. Also, some articles on a LinkedIn. The major problem is you won't know what real URL is until you opened it, and that time it might be too late for you to close it. There are some more potential risks found by those security researchers. This brings up a topic why we are not hosting our own URL shortening services. Here is a project I found from GitHub, URL Shorten Worker, which is using Cloudflare Free Worker service to host your own shortening services at Cloudflare Edge Networks. It is complete free and also super fast. Let's start it. We can take a look this GitHub project README to see the steps we need to follow. One thing I was strongly suggested to do is fork this project to your own repository as I did here. I modified this readme a little bit to better show you all the steps, totally six steps. And the demo side also works. That's the interface how it looks like. I'm going to show you some more customization for this project we can do here. So now let's follow the steps one by one to complete this setup. After you logged into your Cloudflare account, on your right side, you will see workers. Click on it. First thing you need to do is create the KV namespace. We use link. Once you create it, you won't see any key and value because it hasn't been used yet. The namespace ID is showing here. Next step is we are going to create a new worker. I'm using go as a name for my this new worker. You will need to copy and paste the index.js script, all of them. Copy them in here. Control A, Control V, completely replace existing code. Nothing you need to change, and you will preview the interface 
on your right panel on the Battle Preview page. Save and deploy. It will be deployed to your own worker name assigned by Cloudflare, which is go.51sec.workers.dev. We will mapping your own domain to this worker later. At this moment, we are going to bind in KV namespace to this worker. So we need to put the variable name exactly the same as show in the GitHub repository links and then map to the link. Save this binding. So the variable name has bind to the KV namespace. The most important part already been completed. You should be able to test it by click link, but we will do one more step, which we are going back to our DNS, create a new DNS record. I'm name it as go. I'm using a fake IPv4 address. Since we are going to map this subdomain to our worker. So let's save it first. We need to go to the workers, create a new route, which is going to be go.51sec.org slash star and which is mapping to our new worker. Save it. After we created the worker route, we can go back to our worker. This go worker, and you can see there's additional route here. Right now, if you try this route, you will get into this shorten your URL page. This web page also can be customized. So if you go to gh-page branch, it shows 404 there. But if you fork it into your own repository, You should be able to see the index.html, index-demo.html, and there's another cool theme here you can use as well. Let's take a look at index.html. So here are all HTML code which you can modify. Now let's copy one URL and shorten it, you will get this very short link, copy it. You also can verify by paste this link into your web browser. It will automatically redirect that shortened URL to original URL. To maintain those URL records, you can go back to KV namespace to see the entries. So we did the one URL shorten entry. So that's the value, that's the key. You have option to delete it or view it. Since those records has been saved in Cloudflare Edge Networks. The speed is super fast. One thing I found the missing part is this 
index.html, we may need to add certain security on it. We may not want anyone to use it. So if we can add it, the web page with some authentication method into this web page, that would be much useful for self-hosting URL shorten website. As I suggested at the beginning, you might want to fork this project into your own repository. I did that for myself and also I added a small code to use password to protect this URL shorten website. If you go down to my demo site again now, you will see a password prompt page to ask you a password. If you type something wrong, it will directly redirect you to my own website, blog website. If you type password correctly, you should be able to access in the website without problem. So here is a clear text password I'm using. Cool. The password is correct. Click OK to enter in the website. Now you are able to protect your shortened URL website and have your own private shortened URL to use. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed it, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.